accept anything less. And I think that the problem with the United States has nothing to do with human rights. Iran has a constitution. America's closest allies in the region, like Saudi Arabia and Qatar, do not even have a constitution. They do not even have elections. Iran has elections. Just recently, you had rallies throughout the country on the anniversary of the revolution. There was a high turnout. This, is, this sort of thing is quite clear. I mean, if, if we want to speak about human rights, Drone attacks is just the tip of the iceberg. The United States invaded Iraq, Afghanistan. They, they helped create a civil war in Syria. They, they, with, the, with the help of NATO, they destroyed the infrastructure in Libya. Now we see what's going on in Mali. Israel's, uh, the atrocities that Israel commits in Lebanon and in Gaza. The siege of Gaza for years was supported by the United States and the EU, basically preventing people from being able to eat and pr properly and to have medicine. So, and I personally am a, I'm a survivor of two chemical attacks during the, during the Iran-Iraq war. These chemicals were provided to Saddam Hussein by EU countries, EEC countries at the time, and the, and the United States. The technology and the support, the UN Security Council blocked any conde condemnation of Iraq. So you know, the crimes that have been created against humanity when it comes, you know, is really, we have to look to Europe and the United States to see the real culprits. And while, whereas the Iranians have never engaged in an attack, Iran even, never even used chemical weapons when we chemical weapons were used against Iran. Iran never even produced chemical weapons. So I, I think that at the end of the day, it's quite obvious that the United States, its policy towards Iran is based upon uh, an, an irrational form of hatred. And I think that unless